Right, hello folks, I've got uh, Jack Krell Empire X that we collected from uh, Solware last Friday. Uh, really nice little ball pup, nice compact. Although it feels quite chunky, because it's a ball pup, most of the weight's back anyway, so feels really good in the shoulder. So I put a little scope on it. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, on test, I think it was pushing 11.3 foot pounds, and that was with an, I think an 8.4 grain pellet. I'll just post up the little uh, sheet that came from Range Right. Uh, what I'm going to do now is put two more pellets through that are heavier. There's Barracuda Magic 10.65 grains and there's the uh, JSB 80s at 10.34. Now these are really efficient down the barrels normally. So we'll see how they do. So we'll get a good uh, variation on uh, what the power is doing with different pellets. Uh, but like I say, really nice. If you can see on there, we've got, we've got a fill gauge. These fill to 200 bar. I do believe the uh, the full air capacity on these is around 600 uh, cc's because the, the front bottle, although it looks like 480, you've got another cylinder that comes all the way back down that makes the extra uh, air. They're not regulated, uh, but normally the valve's pretty good on these. Uh, you can get them regulated, but it'd make the bottle stick out more. Uh, match grade trigger, safety catches in front of the trigger. It's basically a push forward for off and back for on. It is moderated on the shroud, but because the shroud's probably two centimeters, you're not gonna get as good a silencer as you would on a, a normal silencer. And unfortunately, they don't come with uh, half inch UNF threads as standard, although, uh, I'll just take the trunk bit off. You can see it's got the cone on it there already. Uh, you can get aftermarket uh, thread adapters for the half inch UNF. Built into the actual rail itself, you've got an adjuster screw just there. So uh, you can change the minute of angle by that as well. Uh, it is actually pointing down there, so you should get some decent uh, long range shooting with this one. Comes with a fully adjustable rear book pad for reach and uh, up and down with the pad. So you've got two Allen screws just there. Loosen them off and you can push it in and out. You can see it's in the out position there. There's a button on the side and when that's pressed in, you can actually... Have a need two hands to do it really when you push the button in you can slide the actual uh, book pad up and down so if you shoot an eye up into a tree or lower down you can adjust the pad to suit the, uh, the hold also you've got an adjustable cheek piece uh, you do have uh, adjustments uh, screw nuts on the top so you can slide it in along the dove rail that's on it like most of the Turkish rifles they come with uh, Picatinny and dove rail uh, rails which all manufacturers should do because it doesn't matter what scope you've got it will fit it uh, now initially the cocking level was on the right hand side but Jack wanted me uh, to change it over, so it's now on the left. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do it. I didn't know if I need to take the bottle off and the rails and slide it all off, but I managed to do it without doing that. Uh, basically, you take the front nut off, get the, uh, the spacer and slide that up out of the way. You then adjust the two uh, Allen nuts either side of the back there. Uh, and then slide that comes off the rail 
and then uh, basically you undo the nutlets there once that's done there's also let's see if we can see it on this there's a screw on there that can be undone and just put the safety on it's already on it's on and then what you can do the rod you can slide as far forward as you can a little rod there the silver rod slide as far forward as you can it slightly sticks out then you can get to the actual screw that's on there undo that you can take that off and the actual rail itself just there it's got an insert in it so you can actually rotate that as well so obviously when you get onto the other side you may have to uh, change the handle for the opposite side up to the top because you might have to switch it over but it's probably about a 10 minute job you, you need a couple of really small spanners or long nose pliers to get to the to the nut at the front but once that's off it's fairly straightforward so there's movement there to get it out so basically that's you can change the uh, cocking lever and jack wanted it changing that way so that's what i did uh i did see if my uh Reximex magazine will fit in this because very much similar to look at but no Reximex magazines are short uh are not as thick as these it's probably about five millimeter uh large uh thicker magazines on the Krauss than there is on the Reximex so they do not fit there is enough room however to probably load it single shot by chubby fingers maybe but uh they do come with a uh, single shot loader and uh also were uh, 14 shot magazines uh filling it up with the air on this one you see the uh rubber pad on the side take that off I'm not sure if that came with the rifle or if jack's put that on but basically that comes off you fill it up on the side to 200 bar i can check the pressure on the side as well through the manometer basically that is it uh, I'll just fire a dry shot off it's already cocked safety off so it's it's in, indoors it sounds fairly loud I would say it's uh, back the yard friendly but if you can get the adapter and fit an extra silencer on it would make all the difference uh, and it would bring it out as far as you like really so that is the first look at the Crow Punch it Empire X. Uh, lovely little ball pull. Yeah. They also come, this is the Empire X, uh, extra large cylinder, I think the X stands for, but they do come with a normal cylinder tank. So they're not, you, you don't have to have the big fat uh, bottle on, but it seems like most people are going with, for the extra shot count and getting the bottle. If you want a more a more standard looking rifle you can go get this the normal cylinder version uh, so what i'll do now i'll put some of these pellets over the crane and uh, we'll get a good idea what the uh, rifle's doing uh, hopefully we'll try to be happy with it so uh, let's get on with the test okay then folks starting off with the jsbs 10.34 grains 11.0694 11 11.3703 drop out there. 
four, seven hundred, five, ten, point, nine, six hundred, eighty nine, ten, point, six, six hundred, eighty. Eleven point one six hundred ninety six ten point nine six hundred eighty nine eleven point zero six hundred ninety one Ten point nine six hundred eighty nine ten point eight six hundred eighty four ten point nine six hundred eighty nine Ten point eight six hundred eighty seven ten point five six hundred seventy five. Okay, let's see what that is then. Fifteen shots, high of eleven four, low of eleven five, average of eleven foot pounds. So, as far as Air guns go, I suppose you class that as high power. Uh, not a bad power actually, averaging 11. So that was the Hades. Uh, what we'll do next is put in the Barracuda match. Let's see how they perform. Every barrel is different, so what's efficient down one barrel might be different on a different pallet. So there we go. So uh, up next, h and back through the match at 1065 grains. Oop, going out of the two, none of these have been, uh, none of these have been weighed, so just take it as it is. You don't need a heavy pellet or a light pellet to make a difference. Okay then, moving on to the h and back through the match. Nine point nine six hundred forty seven. That might be one of them rifles that don't like heavy pellets. Nine point six six hundred thirty eight. Eight point zero five hundred. Eighty two nine point nine six hundred forty seven. Just going to check the uh, pallet details again. Ah, oh, ten six. Oh, I don't want to lose that. Uh, one seven seven. Yeah. Carry on. Eight point three five hundred ninety four. Yeah, definitely don't like the heavier. We don't probably don't fit the barrel the same. Nine point nine six hundred forty seven. Eight point seven six hundred five. I think what I might do is try a selection of pellets for it and see what we'll get. Eight. Point 
nine, six hundred, fifteen. Nine point eight six hundred forty five. Nine point nine six hundred forty seven. Nine point eight six hundred forty three. Nine point eight six hundred forty three. Eight point five six hundred one. Eight point six six hundred three. Eight point six six hundred three. Eight point three five hundred ninety two. Eight point five five hundred ninety eight. Eight point nine six hundred twelve. Eight point three. Five hundred ninety four. Eight point five. Five hundred ninety eight. Five twenty one, man. Okay, then. So I've uh, got high 10 foot pounds, low of 8 foot pounds, average of 9.1. So uh, obviously, don't fit the barrel enough to gain the extra power from the heavier weight. Uh, I'm not sure if these come in different head sizes. That's a little, hmm, not really see, don't think it does. Uh, so feet per second, so that's a high of 649 feet per second, a low of 582, averages 619, that's a spread of 67, standard deviation 23.5, so not very efficient pellet actually, which is strange because normally these do well through uh, Turkish barrels, but obviously this one must be a bit different. So I'll put a few more different pellets through and we'll see what sort of power we get in but it's looking like uh, decent pellets you're going to get between 11 and 11.3 foot pounds which is ideal uh, so you're well with inside the limit and you're still pushing enough power to shoot at 50 60 yards with accuracy uh, so uh, when we've done the pellet chronographing on a few more pellets and the next thing will then be the accuracy testing uh, and that's it so far, so uh, I'll try and find some more pellets and I'll catch you soon.
take our swap scopes because uh, one's a bit more reliable. So, more or less on target. So, five one more at zero. Okay, so I'm going for it then now. Top left. Terminators. I want a zero, these are the terminators. Okay. So next one down. Barrel has been pulled through probably about 15 times. Okay, it's a terminators. Next up, Aged Anfield Target Trophy. Trophies. I think all but one went through the same hole. So the last stop will be the field target trophy green. It's five pellets left, so it's just right. Five, five, six grains. Probably go high, but we'll see. So, same again, all but one went through the same hole. So it'll lost field target trophies. And they're going through at about 800, 850 feet per second. Okay, going on to the side, I've got the back to match. Okay, 
was a good result. It's a Baku to match. Crossman Premier. Auto Magnum, ten and a half grains. Seen pallet force at all, was it? A really nice uh, shooting rifle. Nice cocking lever. Plenty of shots. I've not topped up at all. It's still about halfway through the green now. And that's after doing all the chronographing as well. So, Dave State Range Master Sovereign. Fantastic results. So the last one on test now are the are the we are super domes and these were the same pellets tested by range right and the rifle uh, was sent there it came with the uh, natural chronograph results which is quite good actually it's around 10 and a half foot pounds so if these do well it could be a good pellet to use it's a budget pellet Results. Not pallet fussy whatsoever. But like all Turkish barrels, you need a damn good clean when you first get them. Don't just uh, pick the rifle up from the stop and start shooting, expecting results from it. The barrels have got preservative in, so you need to uh, clean that out first. But uh, once the barrels are cleaned, you can see from the results how good it shoots. So, the Crowd uh, Puncher Empire X. Now Jack wants me to regulate this and he's ordering a regulator from Robert Lane and I'll fit it for him and we'll see how many more shots we can squeeze out of it but uh, I mean from what I've seen so far I don't need regulating but if you regulate it it'll be even more consistent uh, I've also ordered a regulator for my uh, Reximex regime. Uh, I've been looking for them for a long time and it weren't until Jack had looked on the page for the regulator for this. You won't find it on the main website, you'll find it on his eBay site. So I went on the eBay site and now they've got regulators for all the Reximex brands, Reximex brands, uh, models I should say. So, uh, as soon as that comes through, I'll be doing a video on the Reximex regulator install and one on this one. So, that's some more videos to look forward to. So, really good results at 20 yards. Uh, all it needs to do now is uh, see what it's like at 50 yards down at the range to find the best pellet. Uh, but it, it, looking at it, it really did home in with the uh, HN target trophy but they all seem to do really well as you can see from the results so uh, that is it for the initial video on the uh, Trail Empire X hope you've enjoyed it I've not enjoyed testing it 
Uh, so uh, I'll catch you in the next video.